Hey guys, Tanner here with Utility Disc Golf. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing video of a dealer order I just got in from Prodigy. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got in the, back, the box, um, some cool discs that just came out, and even some of their bags, because I really wanted to try those out. Um, if you guys are on Patreon, you should be seeing this video about a day before these products are gonna be uploaded to the website. If you're on YouTube or Facebook or any other platform, all the discs and all the products that you see in this video should be on the website as of now. So if you see something, you just gotta have it. It's a sweet stamp or a cool color disc. Um, check out utilitydiscgolf.com. It should be on the website and the link will be in the description below. But let's get into the unboxing and see what kind of stuff we got from Prodigy. discs in here and three different bags so this is a uh, gonna be a cool cool unboxing video shout out to prodigy for sending me a, le a bigger legit banner this will look nice I got a small one back here but I really like this one for uh, backdrops whenever I do product reviews so thank you prodigy for sending me that that's really awesome and this won't be on the website, but if you guys do like these bags, they will be available for drop shipment. But this is gonna be my new bag for 2019. I've been rocking a commander bag for like the last two years, and it was a good bag, but it's just kind of, you know, seen its uh, fair share of use. And I really wanted to try out the new Prodigy uh, BP1 V2. So I got the gray with the green accents. I wanted this nice black, um, top plate because I want to put utility disc golf on there and I think it would look better with a white vinyl on top but um, I might do an unboxing video of this later on but this one's mine you guys can't have it but there will be a review video coming out soon I also wanted to try out their their smaller backpack this is the BP 3 V2 um, should hold about 17 discs. It's got a 32 ounce water bottle holder, upgraded straps and zipper pulls. Um, feels really nice. It's got a nice waterproof bottom, but I got this one in gray to kind of match my other one just in case I wanted to keep this one as well. But um, all the bags that I got in this video are, I got them because I wanted to try out their new, new products and give you guys reviews to show, um, show you what these are all about. But um, yeah, this one will probably be a giveaway or most likely be a giveaway with the review video. So be on the lookout for this BP3 V2. These things um, feel pretty nice. They're pre they feel really durable. They've got nice padding on the back. So really excited about that. And this is a bag that I've been needing ever since I started doing YouTube videos for disc golf. This is, look at that, that's a cool stamp. This is their training bag. So it seems like a duffel bag, but it's made for disc golf. So if I ever need to bring out like 20 discs to a course, or I wanna do field work, and I wanna be really specific with, with what I'm bringing, and I wanna bring a lot, um, this is what I'm gonna be reaching for. So I've always wanted a, um, like a, a field work bag. This is the practice bag V2. So this is their newer version. It's got a nice double zipper on the top. So you can have a nice access to your discs when they're laid in there. So really excited about this one. It's gonna save me um, a lot of carrying around when I do disc reviews and field work. So um, I'm really excited to use this. This will be another uh, product review coming out soon. Now let's get into all the discs. This is what I'm most excited about. I hope the camera can focus. I need to get a new camera because this one doesn't stay in focus very well. But this is the new H4 V2. This is the newest um, hybrid driver from Prodigy. And 
I don't know. I'm really liking all the, the V2s that they've come out with. The H1 V2 is great. Um, I bag that. The H3 V2 is also awesome. I bag that. Um, I have the H2 V2s, the Kevin Jones Signature Series discs are really awesome. So I'm um, really excited to try out this uh, H4 V2 and I should have a couple of them. So we got a nice baby blue with a gray stamp. We got a um, like a smoky gray with a gray stamp, H4 V2. A red with a oil slick stamp, V2. And these are all close to max weight, 174. We got a lime green with a gold stamp. It's kind of a rose gold colored stamp. We got a matching pair. So anybody who likes to buy pairs of discs so they beat in evenly, those are nice little set of twins. My favorite disc color, the orange. It's kind of a nice pinkish orange, kind of a salmon color with the metallic blue stamp, pretty sweet. A nice opaque purple and gold. Any uh, Washington uh, Husky fans or a Minnesota Viking fans, that's a really cool disc. And then we got another one. So we got three, we got a triplet of orange, or uh, not orange, we got a triplet of green H4 V2. So if somebody's looking for a green bag, I would definitely look at all these uh, matching ones. Then, a disc that I'm bagging currently as well, the D2 Max. Um, this is a pretty sweet disc. For me, mine's kind of flat top that's in my bag. It's kind of like uh, flat in the middle. This one seems a little bit more domey, but I really like the, eight, the D2 Max for hyzer flip distance shots. So I throw it on a little hyzer and it pops up to flat, uh, turns just slightly, and then has a consistent fade at the end. So I'm getting a lot of distance out of my D2 Max, and this is a nice um, kind of translucent, um, green one with the blue stamp, really cool. Then, we have some signature series, um, Matt Orm D1, baby blue with a, like a blue metallic stamp, it's pretty sweet. I haven't thrown the D1s yet, but this is a nice domey one. Um, feels like it'd be pretty overstable. And then we got another one of the Matt Orm D1s um, signature series in 750 plastic, 750G plastic. Um, nice opaque orange with uh, that rose colored uh, stamp. And this one has a nice dome on it as well. And the D1 Max, I had the Kayla Visca D1 Max and I threw it in the lake at Camp Serene. So I'm still hoping I'll get it back, but I was really liking this disc for consistent, um, max distance backhands that had a consistent fade and for power forehands. I was really liking this disc, so I had to get a couple new ones. Um, this is kind of a translucent pink and black stamp, which is uh, another one of my favorite combinations. Ooh, kind of a baby blue with a black stamp. Um, kind of semi-translucent, a little bit of swirls. That's a cool one. And orange and black, utility disc golf colors. Um, this one's a little bit flatter than the other two, but another D1 Max, really cool. Then the other new release that Prodigy came out with is, it's not really a new release in terms of plastic uh, or like molds, but it is a new plastic type. So this is the A4, which is the understable approach disc from Prodigy, and they have it in 400 plastic now. So I had to get a couple of those to try it out. Um, nice baby blue with purple. Um, that's a really cool color combination for all you guys that like to bag all blue. Um, blue and purple. Um, this is a cool one. Feels really nice, really tacky. Um, yeah, really feels like a good uh, disc to drive with. Um, I've never thrown an A4, but um, feels pretty good for a forehand as well. Probably because of that shallow profile, but this is a um, kind of reddish orange with a blue metal or uh, blue metal flake kind of splatter stamp. Pretty cool. Then I tried the A2 in 400 plastic and man, they are so beefy. Um, they feel really good in the hand and I like how they, um, they feel for backhands and forehands, but in the 400 plastic, it's, it'll be a good disc for a wind round, but for what I like to use them for, or that type of disc for is, um, 
forehand approach shots, similar to what Ricky uses with his pig and his old harp. Um, that's what I was looking for in the A2 and the 400 plastic was a little too overstable for my liking. So I had to get some 300 plastics because I've heard the 300 plastics and um, the 300 Gs um, fly more like a harp than um, the 400 plastics, the more premium plastics. So I got two baby blues, kind of a nice um, swirly plastic with um, like a rainbow um, oil slick stamp. And these feel really nice. Smell like they got a little bit of rubber in them. Um, they're really grippy. And then Zach is gonna want to buy these from me instantly, I think, because he likes white discs and um, the, with the flag stamps. So I think these will probably be sold by the time they get to the website because I know he was asking about this color combo for his PA3s. So Zach, you're out there. Um, I think you already have your name on these. So really cool. Man, this plastic feels really good. It's super grippy. Um, it's kind of kind of flexy as well and really comfortable in the hand. I think I might have to bag one of these for my forehand approach disc because um, man, 300 A2s. Oh, and then I got some 300 or some 350 GA2s as well. So I got this nice uh, minty green with a rainbow stamp and another light blue with a rainbow stamp. So um, the 300 Gs are um, a little bit stiffer and not quite as grippy as the 300. Um, I think I actually prefer this in my hand because they're stiffer because um, I want to have a nice consistent release out of my hand, but the 300 feels like it's going to grip the ground a lot better. So I might have to try both of these out and see which one I like more, but really excited to get these A2s. Um, this was my favorite thing that was on this order. So lots of A2s. And I've been seeing a lot of Prodigy players throw um, PA1s off the tee and use them as forehand discs as well. So I had to get a couple um, and some premium plastic. So I have a 750 PA1 in a kind of a clear, light gray um, plastic type. And these are really stiff. Um, these feel like they'd be a really great driving putter, especially gripping it backhand. I really like it. Um, yeah, these uh, these will be nice to try out. This one's really cool. I like the clear disc. And then we got another one, uh, lime green with the black stamp. So really excited to try these out. If the A2 is still overstable, too overstable for me, I might try out these PA1s for a forehand approach disc. That's the small Prodigy order that I got. Nothing crazy, but I did have a couple bags on there that I really wanted to try. So to recap, we got two 750 PA1s. We have two A2 350G A2s, uh, minty green and light baby blue. We have four 300 A2s, um, two matching pairs. We got white with flag stamp and baby blue with rainbow stamp. We have two of the brand new A4s in the 400 plastic. It's a new plastic type for this mold. Um, so those feel really nice. We have three D1 Maxes in a plethora of colors. Um, really good driving disc. We have two Matt Warham D1 Signature Series discs. These are pretty pop toppy and uh, feel, I would say they feel pretty, pretty gummy. They're not super um, like flexible, but they do feel gummy on the flight plate. Those are in 750G plastic. And then we have one D2 Max um, with a pretty good, I would say solid, slight dome on it. Really grippy, that's 400 plastic. And the new disc from Prodigy, the H4 V2. I believe these come out soon. Um, don't quote me on it, but I think it's the ninth. Um, these will be released. So we got purple salmon, three matching greens, and red smoky gray and uh, baby blue. So that's the disc for this order. I also get get a try out the 
um, practice bag V2, the BP3 V2, their small kind of travel bag. Um, I really like this size of bag. Um, when I went to GBO last year, I used my Fanatic bag from Dismania just because it um, zipped up really nice and neatly and it was basically like a backpack, whereas my Commander bag, the putters are open in the top and you can't really um, seal them up. So I had to switch to something a little bit smaller and that's what this feels like. It's um, probably gonna be very comparable to the Fanatic bag, but it feels like it has a lot better padding on the back and um, a nice waterproof bottom. So really excited to try the BP3 V2. And this is probably gonna be my new bag for the year. This is the B1 V2 um, in gray with black with some green accents. I'll probably do a, um, a bag review on this and show you guys how to um, put the inserts in because I know that that is something you have to do on these bags so it has a really nice stable structure. Um, but anyway, that's my Prodigy order. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, uh, leave a like, leave a comment on some other stuff you'd like to see, maybe a second camera angle or close-ups of the discs. Um, I used to watch, I think, KW Disc Golf's YouTube channel and he did a lot of these um, like dealer orders where he unboxed things and I really enjoyed them. So I thought that uh, you guys would start liking them now uh, since I am carrying some Prodigy and Dismania and hopefully some other discs in the future. But until next time, stay fly and I'll catch you guys later.